kind of an interesting comparison here. The wilderness next to a non-wilderness version. And yeah, look at that. Look at the stance on that. It really does sit up a lot higher. It's it's not just a spec. You know, this is something that you really notice when you see these on the road. And you know that kind of copper accents with the black. It's definitely one of my favorites. You know the copper. I don't, again, if it was the orange color, I don't know. I think yeah, the copper accents they really go well with some of the colors here. I don't think all of them. <laughs> Something else interesting to note is that the sport model does get that blacked out section between the taillights that does really look nice. I'm actually, I'm surprised. What do you guys think? I'm surprised they didn't put it on the wilderness. So yeah, I do like that. It does kind of just add a little bit of that Japanese flair to it and just makes it look a little bit more serious, especially with the tinted window to match. So, yeah, I think, um, I gotta say, you know, honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of the yellow accents, but seeing that you do get that tailgate blacked out, hmm, yeah, you know, and you're still gonna be able to do some mild off-roading with the standard cross track, right? I mean, it's, it's not an Impreza. On the back here, you know, this is obviously the worst part. They need to do something with this. I'm really surprised they haven't updated this. In fact, the piece that kind of goes around the exhaust, that is a separate piece and would be easy to paint to color match to the body. You know, I think that would kind of be the best solution as far as, you know, not doing a full redesign. If they don't want to put the money into a full redesign of the bumper, it would just add just enough. Just a nice shot of the Sunblaze Orange. Sunblaze Pearl. It's a little bit hazy today and actually as you can see it is a little bit darker of an orange. It's not so much in your face at least you know when the sun isn't completely out. So that's interesting. You know it's kind of got like a little bit of an earthy tone to it. It's not quite that bright bright orange. Now yes you know when the sun comes out it's a little bright enough but for sure, I mean, it is, it's actually a nice orange if you're looking for something with some color, but not too bold, not too bright. A nice black Forester Wilderness. This, of course, is the last year for this generation. And yeah, you know, if you want those physical climate controls, this is pretty much your last chance. Nice look at an Ascent with the Onyx package. You know, if you want something that's going to drive fantastic and still be able to carry, you know, three rows of people, <laughs> yeah, the Ascent is definitely one of the best driving options for kind of a larger sized crossover. And, you know, if you do want something that's going to look good as well, yeah, the Onyx package, the blacked out, yeah, the blacked out wheels, the mirrors, the trim. Yeah, it's, it looks good. And again, just a comparison, the, that little trim piece between the tail lights as well on the Onyx package versus the Chrome. And they do have a couple of Solteras here, not many. I guess these will be getting updated in a big way next year. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of the story with EVs, isn't it? 